A jury began deliberations today in the first degree murder case from 2016. James Stevens on trial for the stabbing death of 24 year old Jasper Williams. Iowa News reporter Eric Halperin was in court today and joins us now live from Providence with the latest. Eric. Mike, after hearing closing arguments, the jury deliberated for about two hours. Then just about a half hour ago, they told the judge they have still not reached a verdict, so they're breaking for the weekend. On the fourth and final day of the trial, James Stevens took the stand. The now 31 year old is accused of stabbing and killing 24 year old Jasper Williams in East Providence back in 2016. Stevens defense team argued self defense. He repeatedly said he was defending himself when questioned by the prosecution Friday. I was fighting for my life, sir. According to police, the deadly fight, which was over a girl, Stevens girlfriend and Williams ex girlfriend all started over the phone. Then Stevens drove to where Williams was staying in East Providence. Defense attorney John McDonald brought up how the victim had gotten out of prison just weeks before for a different stabbing incident. He continued to try and convince the jury of self-defense during closing arguments, and if not that, then voluntary manslaughter. Under these circumstances, in the dark of night, outside Lion Ave Park, facing Jasper Williams, did James Stevens have a reasonable belief that his life was in danger? The answer to that question is yes. Prosecuting attorney Dan Guglielmo called it first degree murder, quote, through and through. Stevens was arrested in Texas more than two weeks after the incident. His actions after the murder, after the murder speak much louder than his going to trial. His actions, fleeing, leaving, ditching the car, ditching his phone, leaving his friends, his son. And the jury is expected to be back here at court on Monday to continue deliberating. Coming up new at 6, hear more from both the prosecution and defense. Live in Providence, I'm Eric Alperin, Eyewitness News.